what are you waiting for? Come join the Geek Drums Nation. So, like, I know I'm not the only guy that likes medical dramas. I know I'm not the only guy that likes medical procedural dramas. Good Doctor, The Resident, uh, Doctor Odyssey just started. And, uh, you know, you have the, the, the long-running favorite that varies from season to season, Grey's Anatomy. And, well, the new season just started today. And, um, well, I watched it, and I wanted to talk about it, guys. Like, can we talk about Grey's Anatomy? Were, was anybody happy to see it back? I was, personally. I was very happy to see Grey's Anatomy back. Why? Because they posted a teaser today that had me extremely hyped for this episode. I legitimately thought that, oh, first of all, spoilers, if you have not seen it. Why would you come here if you have not seen the episode? But first of all, let me say, I thought Miranda was going to slap Catherine. And well, she did in her dream. Very disappointing because Catherine has been getting on my nerves for the past couple of seasons, especially last season when she literally fired everybody. I mean, she fired Teddy. She fired Owen. I mean, she fired Amelia. She fired Meredith. She fired Miranda. Like, she literally got rid of everybody. Uh, why? Because she's on a power trip. I mean, I, I guess she's on a power trip. We get more, we get more on that in this episode. A, a lot happened this episode. Hold on. I gotta pull up my notes. We a lot, a lot happened this episode, and I'm trying to just pack it in because I don't want this video to be too long. But if you are new here, please like, share, and subscribe. If you are a returning visitor and, and you like Grey's Anatomy, blow this video up because I'll keep these reviews coming. Like I said, I want to post different content than just comic books and you know stuff of that nature. But um, well. We pick up right where we left off from last season. Catherine and Miranda are going at it. But again, this is just in her dream. We find out that she does give Adams a day to decide on what he wants to do. Uh, because, yeah, he was going to be fired because of what he did. But uh, I, we get to the end of the episode and he does decide to stay. Him and Griffith, they have a touching, touching moment. You know, Grey's Anatomy is just filled with... Filled with love, sex, lust, and drama. They do save lives, but it's all that other stuff around the way. I, I can almost guarantee you that does not happen in real hospitals. But, um, uh, like, the whole dream was crazy. Like, Miranda was standing up for herself. But when she wakes up, we do see Warren. Warren is back as a serious regular on Grey's Anatomy since Station 19 did, unfortunately, end last season we know warren gave up being a firefighter he wants to go finish getting his medical degree so right now he doesn't want to go work at the hospital because well his wife got fired and he does not trust Catherine. i support you on that buddy because i don't trust Catherine either who would oh uh, but yeah he's volunteering at the clinic right now and he says he's going to you know get an interview at uh at, at seattle press Seattle Presbyterian, I guess that's the real, that's the full name of it. I don't know. Sue me if I'm wrong. I don't know. But uh, yeah, but Miranda says, why not Grace? He tells her. But uh, when we get to the end of the episode, she does say, uh, go get back in the residency program because she's going to get her job back. And based on the preview of next week's episode, oh, her and Weber are going to be going at it and I can't wait. But I don't want to jump too far ahead. Let's talk about Weber. Weber is the chief. Weber is the chief now, you know, interim chief. Of course he is because his wife runs the foundation. But Weber is the interim chief. And um, he still does not trust himself in the OR. Him and Ndugu, even like, you know, they clash a little bit in the OR. Ndugu, Winston, he says he needs to help. He needs to help. And, you know, by him being chief, that does not excuse him from, you know, helping. Because his wife did literally fire all his help. Again, Owen, you know, Teddy. Teddy was the, the heart the heart person at the hospital. Fired everybody so he does need help. So we have a mass casualty event. I guess you can say that. If you want to call it that. You know, basically, protesters, bungee jumpers, all of this stuff. A lot of this stuff kept a lot of the staff of the hospital make them late coming. So yeah, had a, a mass casualty event, I guess you can say. One of the bungee jumpers 
fell into a kid's car a kid who stole his dad's car ended up losing a finger and everything glass all in the kid's hand they pull up in the er and they have a whole bunch of other things going on it's a lady and her daughter the lady's name is miss gallagher she was a protester the police are coming to arrest her and she even gets lost in the hospital like it's a lot going on now at the same time we pan over to miranda and amelia you know, at, at the, you know the little institute that Mer that Meredith got. I should not call it little. That thing's huge. At the end, at the institute that Meredith has, that the guy gave her for the Alzheimer's research. We all know what's going on with that. Meredith won't back down from her research. She wants to do what she's gonna do. She is beginning served. She's in desist letters from the Fox Foundation for what I can say has been like a couple of weeks. Seeing that we do pick up like in the aftermath, so it's been a few of them. Uh, Jackson is back in this episode. Jackson goes to see his mom, then goes to see Meredith, tells Meredith, if you would have paid attention, if you had read any of those letters, you would have seen that I had input on it as well. Jackson just wants to bring the peace, just wants to bring the peace. But we all know how Meredith is. We all know how strong willed she is. Now, let's go over to the other interns, the other interns, uh, Griffith. She's worried about Adam's decision. Uh, Yasuda. I forgot Yasuda and Millen kissed last season. Um, I, I guess it makes sense since Quan is going to get reignited with his ex fiance who's trying to remember stuff. At the end of the episode, she comes to the hospital. Uh, I'm jumping around, guys, and I'm sorry, but at the end of the hospital, uh, at the end of the episode, uh, she comes to the hospital. She says she found she found a picture of them in her phone. She's trying to piece together her life since the accident that messed up her memory. And he's there, so she wants to know what they were to each other. Quan, of course, is very apprehensive to this. I can't wait to see where they go with this since they're, you know, stopping that whole will they, won't they thing with Millen, their little arrangement. Because apparently Yasuda and Millen have a thing going on. Like, they share a very passionate yes in this episode but we know that yasuda is leaving so there's that Th there's that um uh we know what adams is dealing with like adams messes up even more because he took too long grabbing the severed finger for link he took too long grabbing it but not his fault the finger was on the kid's sweater after Quan decided to be a nice person and give him a you know give him a pep talk because the kid was brought down you know they always give the patients those those pep talks in the middle of like towards the end of the episode this happened when everybody was giving motivational speeches to you know the persons that they were paired with at the time miranda was giving a motivational speech to griffith you know um I, I, this episode had a lot of great moments in it guys a lot of great moments it's hard to cover a show like this that jumps around so much but i'm gonna try my best but what i will say is this episode was great we even do see we see owen and teddy or did we see them in the preview did we see them in a preview for next week i think yeah we just saw them in the preview for next week so if you have not watched the episode i'm sorry but owen and teddy were not in this episode at all like not all this we know what's going on when a TV show goes running for so long. You have to pull some of the regulars out for certain episodes. You know, we, we heard about the drama that was going on over on Grey's Anatomy with like the salaries and everything. We know that Schmidt and Yasuda are indeed leaving this season. And speaking of Schmidt, him and Weber have a talk in the elevator. He's telling Weber that he may want to stick with general surgery, that Peds might not be what he wants anymore. And Weber tells him, you need to pick something. You can't keep jumping. And I think that will lead to him picking a different career altogether because, like I said, um, the actor is leaving the show this season. This is his last season as a series regular. I don't know what episode he's leaving in, but he is leaving. Uh, another thing that Miranda has to deal with is Sydney Heron, the new residency director. She was in Miranda's residency class when they were younger. Uh, she's all upbeat and peppy and happy and all of that stuff. And uh, it rubs Miranda the wrong way. The interns don't really care for the lady either. They're used to getting yelled at. Miranda actually knows how to teach them. And I don't think Sydney is going to last very long at Grace Sloan. She came from Florida. She, she was doing her residency stuff, being a doctor over there in Florida. You know, Weber brought her here because, well, of course, Weber taught her. So that makes sense. Uh, we even see Miranda and Weber give each other a dirty look when the um, when the trauma initially comes 
to the ER. She, like I said, Miranda's still running that clinic next door. She's in charge of that. She handles all of that. She loves it. But yes, she does miss her kids. She misses her students, her medical students. And I can't wait to see where that is going to go. Uh, Weber and Winston have a heartfelt touching moment towards the end of the episode as well. You know, they're going to run some skill labs, but it's not for Weber. It's for Winston because Winston said that, you know, he would have missed what Weber did point out about what, you know, what, how can I say it? What level of treatment, what, what method of treatment, I should say, that they should have went to save the guy's life who went plunging through the windshield. And yes, the lady did, uh, Miss Gallagher, she did end up getting trapped on the wall because Yasuda and Griffith let her go to the bathroom. She climbed through the ceiling. She panicked. She fell. She got caught in the wall. She had the hematoma or whatever in her neck, basically bleeding in her neck. And uh, she passed out in the wall, but they saved her in enough time. Um, Sydney intercepted Miranda save when they were rushing her to the ER. And you could tell that upset Miranda. But um, when we get to the end of the episode, she does inform Jackson. Meredith, I should say. Meredith does before we go there, before we go there, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm so glad Paul TV is back. A lot of stuff happened in the very first episode of a lot of shows. A lot of stuff happened in Grace Anatomy today. One, when Meredith did go meet with Catherine, Catherine collapsed. Why? Because she has a huge tumor in her back. She also has a lot of tumors in her liver. Why? Because that cancer is very, very aggressive, I'm guessing. She knows, but Jackson... And Richard, they do not. She does not want them to know. Meredith wants to treat her, but Catherine does not want treatment. She is refusing the treatment. Why? She's a stubborn old woman, and she wants to go out on her own terms. Now, she says she will give everybody their jobs back, but I'm sure, I am sure there is a catch. Because when we get to the end of the episode, she tells Amelia, you should go back to Seattle, finish working there, um, that the research will continue, but in some sort of way. The episode cuts off. We don't get to find out what deal that Meredith made with Catherine. I'm sure it's super underhanded and it's not what Meredith wants, but we will continue with that as the season progresses. Now, guys, if you have watched this episode, let me know what you think. If you're interested in medical dramas and stuff of that nature, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said, blow this video up. Blow it. Blow it up. That way, I can keep these reviews coming. But like I said, if you're new here, like, share, subscribe, turn on the alert so you never miss another one of my videos. And I will catch you all later.